Hi. So what is your favourite hymn or worship song? Which ones would you choose to be played at your funeral? When I was a small person at Southbury Road Primary School in Ponders End, we had a school assembly every morning and I remember Mr Donoghue playing the piano as, each, as we all belted out that day's hymn. The ones that stuck in my mind were All Things Bright and Beautiful, Lord of the Dance, Morning Has Broken, When a Night Won His Spurs, all absolute bangers. But the one that stuck in my mind that was the one that we sang at Easter called All Glory, Lord and Honour. Now this song really freaked me out. For a long time, and I admit right up until Easter 2014, when we sang it during my curacy at Golders Green Church. It was only then that I sat down and properly looked at the words. The first verse goes, All glory, Lord and honour, to thee, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. Now as a child, my simple understanding of those words were, why are they making a ring for Hosanna out of children's lips? That is gross. Mm, yeah, it took me 40 years to realise that the children were singing the word Hosanna and that noise rang out, or that's what the lyricist meant. When I first became a Christian in 2003, the church I was uh, at found out that I'd been a nursery school teacher and they asked me to lead the under fives groups on a Sunday morning. So I had the pleasure of learning about Jesus and the Bible by teaching 40 under fives each week. It was fun. But I found that they too had issues with the words of some of the worship songs that we sang. There was one which went, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. It goes, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow in anger and rich in love. They heard it phonetically and sang it accordingly. This is what they sang. The Lord's a grapefruit and a cashew nut, slow in anger and rich in love. Bless them. I loved it. I deliberately had that song quite regularly just so we could enjoy those lyrics. Hymns and worship songs are memory jerkers, as are secular songs. And I must admit that I probably changed my decision on which ones I would like at my funeral quite regularly because the seasons of my life change and so does the song of my season. So as far as hymns go, I think my favourite is Tell Out My Soul, based on the words of Mary, Jesus' mum in the Bible, when she hears that she's going to have God's child. It's a paraphrase of what they call the Magnificat in the Bible. It has a wonderful rousing tune so that you can sing God's praises with absolute gusto. It is praise straight from the heart of a woman who never imagined that she would amount to much, just maybe an everyday housewife. But there she is praising her God who had plans for her far beyond her wildest imagination. And I totally feel that in my relationship with God. My favorite worship song which is the description for a more contemporary hymn of worship to God, is at the moment called Gyra, You Are Enough by Elevation Music. The word Gyra is Hebrew and it means the Lord will provide. And to be quite honest, the words of this song are not much different to those of Tell Out My Soul. The singer is declaring to God through the struggles of everyday life that because of God's provision for, love, for his love and his grace, that they are already loved, already chosen. They know who they are. They know what God's spoken over them. They know that they're loved more than they could imagine. And that is enough. I love singing that to God, thanking him for so many things that are going on in my life at the moment, both good and bad. In fact, I just love singing to God, be it in church, in the car or in the shower. But there are so many secular songs Songs that would not normally be regarded as in worship of God, that I love singing to God too. I love a bit of Adele, Ben Platt, Yeba, Johnny Morgan, Keith Urban, PJ Morton, to name but a few. So what are your favourites? I'd love to hear. Tell us about them in the comments on YouTube, Facebook or wherever you find this post. And just remember, you are loved loved by God, who is an awesome God, who died just for you. 
just for you. Love and prayers as you journey this week.